I know it can be intimidating to create videos that you then post on YouTube, Instagram for the whole world to see. But also, if you want to grow your business, people need to relate to you. They need to know how you work. They need to hear your voice so that they can know, like, and trust you. So how do you get started? Well, I have a morning routine before I record, and that helps me ground so that then I am ready to get on camera and feel confident and not feel like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Why do I have a million things in my head? I don't even know what to say. So let's start with my morning routine. I wake up early. I'm just a morning person. And if you are also a morning person, I like to get up at 5 a.m. on the days that I'm recording. I do a lavender wrap, heat it up in the microwave for four minutes, (sighs) calm myself down. Because of course there's going to be anxiety about that I'm going to be on camera, whatever calm myself down, have this nice wrap on my neck while I journal about what I'm grateful for, what I want. I just kind of free write because I did Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way. And so every morning, morning pages, just write. And you never know what's going to come out and it's wonderful. And you don't even have to look at it again. Then I like to meditate for a few minutes. Pull an angel card or just sit quietly. I have three kids. So to have a little quiet time in the morning before the day starts, sing. Okay. Then after I shower, I like to use iPads. I'm getting older. I also like to use a moisturizer. I don't like foundation, but when you're on camera, you want to wear, I mean, at least for me, I want to wear a little more makeup than I normally do. So I try to find makeup that doesn't have a bunch of crap in it and will not hurt my sensitive skin. Because if I feel presentable, I'm going to be more confident when I'm speaking. Then I batch record. So I choose days when I know I don't have to, you know, jump on a Zoom or run to an appointment. So I schedule Tuesdays for my recording times. And if it happens that I need to do it on a Friday or Saturday, so be it. If it works, I'll do it. But when I know on Tuesdays I will be recording, then Monday night I try to get more sleep, I wake up early, and I just prepare. I get a couple outfits ready so that I can change in between all the recordings. And then I set up my space after the kids are at school, of course. And I get all of my ideas and scripts. I don't really use scripts, but I know that that helps some people feel more comfortable get those prepared, and then I hit record. And then once they're all finished, whoo, it feels like I have crossed off so many things on my to-do list. And then I can edit, post, come up with all the captions and the descriptions and the links at another time. But I know I've gone through, recorded what I needed to record, and then I'll do it again the following Tuesday. And it feels really good. So I encourage you, if you are considering starting to do recordings, it doesn't have to be on YouTube. If you just want to record some reels to put on Instagram, or you want to think about doing a digital course and you want to start recording yourself, do it. It never hurts. Start with that morning routine, and I bet you're going to find more creativity and confidence start to show up in your life. So let me know in the comments if this is helpful. Subscribe for more tips and go and do it. The world wants to hear from you. Bye for now.